Hammer 27, I'm going to show you how to install Custom Themes Manager on your PS Vita. It's been a while since I've done this, so let's get started. Like always, you should have 3.60 with Henkaku, or 3.65, 3.67, or 3.68 with H-Encore. So you just click over here on this first link. I'm going to have it in the description. And then it's really easy, just click on that link over there, and then once you're done, just drag it to the desktop. And then head over to your Vita. Once you've headed over to your PS Vita, you press the select button, and then connect the USB cable. And then what you'll do is that you'll find your PS Vita, head over to Vita Shell, and then drag this file. And then once you're through with that, disconnect the USB cable. And you'll scroll down and find the CT Manager VPK. And then click X twice, and then click X again, you'll see this warning. So don't enter any personal information in there. Okay. So 87%. And then once that's done, you'll press the home button. And then you'll see custom themes manager. I'll just move that over here. Okay. So what you'll do... Okay, this music is pretty loud, so I just gotta turn it down a little bit. Okay, so download a custom theme. Okay, and then after that, there's some select themes, like for example, hmm, I'll just choose this theme. You press L and R to switch between details, press X to download, press the O to return to the custom themes, and press triangle to exit. So we're just going to press X. Okay, so, please wait. So this will take some time. The program extracted the files. Write it to your database. Custom theme installed successfully, so once you see that, that confirms that you're, that's uh, successful. And then let's install- you can also install another theme. Mm. Okay, so I kind of like this with the pink top better, so... So this is going to be the second one that I'm going to download. We're just going to download three for now. Okay, so it says downloading, please wait. The PS button has been disabled to prevent any possible corruption. And then press start. Custom theme installed successfully. And then the last theme I gotta download. Okay, let's see. And then right after that, you can go to settings. And then go to theme and background. Home screen backgrounds. Wait, no. You go to theme, and you'll see all of those themes. You see, Anohana, Win95, Sony. That's just two themes, but I just had three. So, uh, so these are three themes in total. 
So if we switch to that over there. You can actually see how this looks if you hear some of the custom music, so that's actually pretty good. Don't mind the phone shaking, I'm just I'm just dancing to this. So I actually kinda like this song. And let's go to 195 Sony. Select. And this sounds kind of 8-bit. I just gotta change it back to Anohana. You can see that all the pink text, you can see all that white text that was originally white became pink. So thank you so much for watching this and keep liking, commenting, and subscribing.